I too was young once. Oh, how swiftly time flies. And yes, time was that great opportunities came to me. But first I needed to prepare for the greatness in life that awaited me. I realized I must make resolutions. I needed the help of trustworthy friendships and enlightened fellowship. I was 25 years old. And like you, I asked, and I became a Freemason. And like you, my brothers, I wakened to that most precious of resources, time. Time, like the sands of this hourglass, will quickly pass, and lost time is never found again. I learned as a Mason to be up and to be doing, doing to the purpose, because greatness, like truth, waits patiently for you, but you only have so much time. You know, Freemasonry believes man's greatness can be measured by his time well spent. But the signs of your greatness will not be in wealth and fame, but in your capacity to give back to your community. The scriptures assure me that on the last day, we shall not be examined for what we thought, but for what good we did for our fellow creatures. So, how to start? So much to learn, so much to do, so little time. I suggest you start by putting your own life in order and use the rituals and symbols of Freemasonry to cultivate your emotions. Becoming a Mason is a habit, so resolve to do one thing good every day. In the morning, write, what good will I do today? In the evening, answer, what good did I do today? I decided on 12 virtues that I thought would help me become a better Mason and henceforth a better man. Some, like temperance and silence, I thought would help facilitate the others, while those like order, patience, tolerance, and moderation would help me to better learn the lessons of Freemasonry. I was told later I needed to add one more. Humility, a virtue I'll admit always gave me a bit of trouble. Now, there are many virtues, Masonic or otherwise, but every Mason should decide which virtues he'll defend as a Freemason. Those virtues that can help him create a better world, a better family, a better man. I suggest picking one virtue at a time and working on it until it becomes a habit, a different virtue each week. And when you're done, repeat. Memory is like a ladder, one step at a time. And as those who try to learn our rituals soon discover, repetition is the mother of learning. And time always is quickly passing. Indeed, my time has passed. But your time is. So be ashamed to catch yourself idle when there's so much to be done. Live with purpose. For time is to prepare for greatness.